Hello from wherever you're watching us and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to use Salesforce CRM. And Salesforce CRM is a customer relations management tool that can help you do many things at a time or in the same platform. With CRM, you can manage customer information, store and organize customer data, including contact details, interactions and preferences in centralized database. You can also track sales opportunities and you can also automate sales processes and collaborate with team members where you can share information, assign tasks and collaborate with team members to ensure effective communication and coordination. The Salesforce CRM is comprehensive because you can also personalize customer interactions and you can also integrate other systems uh, within Salesforce CRM uh, to ensure that there's data consistency and streamlined uh, operations. To get to Salesforce, you go to salesforce.com to this site and for the pricing, you simply scroll down here now you notice something unique about their product pricing. If you click on product pricing, it brings you here, where you can now take, where you can now check product pricing in terms of small businesses, sales, services, sales and services, marketing, commerce, and all this. So let's say you just want to know the pricing in terms of small businesses. You simply click on that small businesses. And it will bring you to this page where you can see the pricing uh, ranging from $25 to 1250 That is for small businesses. If you go back, you can check the prices for sales. Again, you click on sales and it will take you to this page again where you can see the pricing in terms of sales. Now, how do you start using Salesforce CRM? You simply come to salesforce.com and the link is available in the description of this video. And on the upper right corner, you click on try for free. And once you register, you will click on log in. So once you click on try for free, it will bring you to this site where you will enter your details, name, job title, email, and then phone number. And then you will verify that through your email, the email they'll send to your email. You click on the link to activate. And once you activate, it will now bring you to this site where now you have your homepage for Salesforce. So Salesforce is quite wide and in this tutorial, we are just going to be covering a few of the things you can do with Salesforce. Now Salesforce takes you from lead. You can see on top here, we have lead. A lead is a person who possibly has shown intention uh, in your business, either in your goods or in your services. And what you can do with Salesforce is that you are able to keep track of your lead so that you can convert them to opportunities. And of course, once you convert them to opportunities, you are able to make sales. So we are going to be looking at a few of the things you can do here, including how to create leads, how to add accounts and contacts. And then of course, we can explore these others briefly. So once you get to your homepage here, you notice here we have leads. So we want to add a lead. Let's say someone is interested in my business. They have contacted me and I want to keep all the details of my customer within, within Salesforce. I'll come to leads, click on that arrow, and you notice in my records, I have a recent record of Kim Young, but I want to add a new lead, a potential person who has possibly indicated interest in my business. So I click on that. It brings me to this site. I'm the lead owner, Joshnet. Then I'll now add the lead here, the new lead here. So who is this? Salutation, the normal way, Mr. Then I'll give their first name. Maybe let's say the name is George. Last name is Mish. And then I'll give the company. Maybe they work for Legends. And then I'll give the new lead status here. So for the new lead status, is this someone new? Someone contacted, someone working, qualified or unqualified? So let me assume this is a new lead who I have contacted or has contacted me. I'll click on contacted. Then I'll add their phone number there. And then I'll add their email here. And so, and then I will now save. Click on save. 
So you now notice lead, Mr. George Mish, was created. So if now I come back to my leads here, you notice recent records, I have George Mish as one of the leads. So now I have added my lead. That is my lead person. This is a person who has shown interest. So what can I do with the lead that I have added? So you notice there are things we can do. We can change the lead here. If now I continue with the conversation with my lead and it's working, I simply change the status by clicking on working. You notice now my lead is now on the working status. And maybe if we don't agree, I notice ah, this is not a person interested in this business. They cannot do much. I click on unqualified. But if I can now convert this lead, maybe the person who contacted me and we have agreed we are going to do business together, then what I'll do is I'll click on converted here. That means I've converted the lead into an opportunity and I'm able now to make a sale. So that's how you now work with the lead you added. On the left hand side here, you can view the activity with your lead. For instance, you can log a call here and then you make that call. That means even if I have a thousand leads here, it will be so easy. Just click on the lead, come to the right hand side and I can log a call here. I can also do the same for the email here. I can send an email and then I can set preferences for my email. And then on this checklist here, I can add a new task for my lead. For instance, if I click on that, I can now come here and give the subject for the new task. Do I want to send a quote? Do I want to send a letter? Do I want to send any other? Let me say I want to send a quote. So I'll just put the quote there and then I can now add the quote and then I can also insert a quick text here. Then maybe I want to make a sale on cameras and other things. So I just type there and then I can put the due date here from the calendar. I just select the due date for that quote. I've given the customer quotation up to 30th June. Then that is to George Bish, the colleague I added here. Then related to what is this related to? From depending on my account, if I'm sending something, it might be related to any of the following. It can be a campaign, it can be a case, it can be communication, and I'm going to be looking at case in a while. Eh? So once I select, let me select this to be a case. And then I can put a reminder, I can set a reminder that will remind me about it. And then I'm just going to save that. So you notice my send quote has been added here. So once I log into George Mish as a lead, I'm able to come to the left hand side here and just see all the details that I need about this lead. Now that I mentioned about opportunities, let me come to opportunities. How do we, what are opportunities? So what are opportunities? Opportunities are simply leads that have become potential sales or potential business opportunities. So if I click on opportunity, let me assume that the thing I discussed with my lead here has become an opportunity. So I'll simply click on new and add Mish as my new opportunity. So notice here we have the opportunity names account name, stage, close date, and the opportunity. So if I click on new, I can come here and then still add my opportunity there. Opportunity name, maybe it is a sale. Account name, I can search for the accounts that maybe I had created. I can add a new account if I don't have an account for that. So I'll add the details here. In this case, I won't add that. And then I'll fill the dates here, the stage, the probability, and the probability is simply a percentage, maybe probability of that being a sale is 70%. Then I'll put all these other details. Let me just select that. Then close date, I select there. Stage, at what stage is it? Is it qualification? Is it that now this opportunity is at a meeting scheduled, a scheduled a meeting, the lead has been converted to a scheduled meeting. Is it that I have proposed a quote is it that I'm in the negotiation process? Is it that I have closed and won? Or is it that I closed and lost? Let me write, let me select closed and won. And then probability, you notice now, 
has shifted to 100%. So if now I click on negotiation, you notice the probability is at 80%. If I click on qualification, the probability is at 20%. So depending on what I choose here on stage, let me click on proposal, price quote, the probability of that being converted is 65%. So for cases here, this will be any case that I have with a client or a customer, be it an issue that I'm following up with them either during the process of making a sale, even after making a sale about deliveries, anything that may be about cases. So to create a case, you simply click on cases and create new. And then you give the contact name here. I call this client. And then down here, I'm going to select the status of the case. Up here, you notice, is it new? Is it open, pending, escalated, or closed? Maybe it is open. I'll click on open. And then I, I select the case origin. Was it through email? Was it through phone, web, Facebook, or Twitter? Maybe it was through Facebook. I click on that. And then the priority, depending on uh, how I would rate it. Is it critical, high, medium, or low? Maybe I select high. And then I can now give the description here. The case is maybe about 40 goods. And then I'll give the description there, what it was all about. And then I'll give the internal comments there. And then I'll click on save. So you see now we have a case with this number has been created. So if now I, if now I click on my cases right now, you notice I have a case here, case number already given there. And then I'm the case owner. The case is open. The subject is about 40 goods. And then the description is here. And then as the case continues, I'm able now to update the case here. And then down here, I can track all the updates about my case. For instance, I can track emails. What was said, maybe I sent the client a request for a photo of the goods. And then they sent that. So I can track all the emails here. In this case, there are none. Then for all the calls I made, I'll be able to track all the calls here, texts that I posted, and then the status changes. That is how we change the status here from open to pending to escalated to closed. Then I'm also able to access that down here. That is how you create cases on Salesforce. So you can also add contacts. It's so easy to do that. You can add contacts by simply clicking on add, by simply clicking on contacts. Then you notice we already have contacts added here, but how do we add a new contact? You simply click on the drop down arrow and then you click on new contact. And then you put the details of the contact that you want to add here. You give them the name. Let me call them Professor Matthew, Matthew Jones. And then account name. I can add the account name there. Maybe it is a Salesforce, this one. Then I click on save. So now I have my contact added there. So anytime now I want to do any transactions here that may involve my contacts, I'll be able to now access it here. You notice we have Professor Matthew Jones here as our new contact. And again, just like we see, just like we did on the leads, we can access the contacts here, the email, the calls we made, the text, the calendar events we have scheduled and all that. So there's a lot more you can do with Salesforce CRM. You notice we have a lot we can do here, but that will be it for this tutorial. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.